Hello guys and welcome. Today we're going to be qualifying for QC Results Quality version 2 English. For those who are new to our channel, kindly subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you can be notified every time we upload new videos. As you can see, this is the price per heat on the heat up. And currently there are approximately 6k heats. And these graphs really show you that, for example, this heat up has a higher number of active judges and it uploads new tasks multiple times per week. So you're sure this is a heat up that's going to earn you some cash. So let's go ahead and train. You can see there's 10 trainings. You have to complete 10 heats before the training is completed. Go right into train. When you start training, there's usually this section over here. So this section here is where you get your URL. If nothing loads on the page down here, then you really have to open it in a new tab, or probably you can reload it. But if it doesn't reload, you should open it in a new tab. And when it opens, and you can see this is the website. This website, as you can see, the color scheme, of this website is a bit odd and the pictures too are kind of scary you can see jesus hanging on the cross the popes well this is scary stuff so this one has an integrity problem we can't even find the main content so we're just going to choose this option and for the authority i think this has a poor authority over the subject because you can't really tell what they're talking about and you can't even categorize it in whatever they have in their main page and as you can see we are correct so you really need to pay attention to the heat level reason because this is the reason as to why we are correct or wrong in case we go wrong so for this one the website has an integrity problem the color scheme and pictures are scary too so that one has an issue and guys, as we continue tasking, kindly remember that there is an option here to learn more. You see, right around this section, there's a button for you to learn more. If you just click on it, you will learn more about why we choose the yes, and you can learn more about why we choose the no. As for the content quality, when it comes to this heat up, and then down here too, right about here, we have another learn more. This is to tell you why we choose the authority as poor or maybe high authority or best source. So it depends on what you judge. And this learn more will help you identify so much quite easily. Because for example, for the high authority, if we see some quality news or high editorial sites, or maybe well-known shopping sites, that one will be a straight high authority. So that's how you get to know. And moving on with our training, as you can see, this is the NASA official website because it's uh, the parent domain is nasa.gov. And as you can see, they're talking about space pens, pencils, and how NASA takes notes in space. This one, basically, you can read the main content easily because you can see there's an article about how NASA takes notes in space. Because this is NASA itself posting this blog article, this is going to be best source because this is the NASA's official web page. And as you can see, we are correct. The heat level reason is because this is NASA official website. And even if you see me go wrong, this will be my judgment. And if we are in an instance told that we were wrong, try to choose the gold judgment because it's whatever answer that was expected. So we're gonna move forward. This other one is an article about Diana's Sirikul missing. So this one is a lot of ads. If you open it in a new tab, you will notice that this, the picture, this picture is kind of strange and it's not really clear. So we can't really tell about the content. And the authority, we just don't know whether this website has authority over this subject. So this is a non authority. Yeah, we're correct. Moving on, secondary education. This is a Wikipedia website. 
So we can see the content is about secondary education, so it's a yes. And for the authority, because this is a well-known publishing site, we're going to put it at a higher authority. For this one, half post. Half post is a well-known news site. So we already have our answer for the second option. It's a high authority. And the content, the content, can you see the content easily? Meteorologist dog delivery is pops in for a trip during Toronto weather class. So yeah, you can see the content and the outer. So I think this the main content is easily discoverable. Let me submit. See you are correct. So about this one, you can see this guy is posting about Air Jordan 4. So this content is visible. But then the channel name is all about sneakers. This is not the official channel for, for this brand. So I don't think they have any authority over the content. We're just going to put a non-authority because when you look at this learn more drop down here, post on other social media where posters knowledge is questionable, site cannot be clearly labeled as poor high authority is when you select the unknown authority because we don't know if this guy has authority over the show that they are reviewing right here. So it's a known authority. So this is a pirated movie site. The authority here will be poor, definitely, because the website is not authorized. And if you open in a new tab, when you probably click on one of the movies to download, it will probably redirect you to some websites. It won't get you the real download link. So for this one, you can see the content, but then it has a poor authority over the content. And for this other one, this is the YouTube homepage. So we can easily see the content about YouTube. And this is the best source because this is where you get YouTube videos from anyway. And it's the official site. So moving on, this guy is talking about probability comparisons. So we can see the content. And because from the YouTube channel name itself, it's rigor comparisons. You can see it's comparing probability for fears and phobias. You don't even need to look down further. You can just say this one has a high authority over the subject. This one, you can see that uh, journalist Peter Hitchin, it says that the economy and the state-sponsored panic killed more people than COVID. So this has an integrity problem. So the content authority is poor. And when you look at the post, let's open it in a new tab. Well, you can see there's so many ads. Almost half of the page is only ads. So this one, you can't see the main content easily. So this one is a Reddit post. And Reddit posts, guys, they usually fall under unknown authority all the time. So make sure you get that into your mind. So it's a known authority. For the content, we're opening a new tab. You can easily see the content, so it's a yes. Okay, this LinkedIn is a website that's well known and many people use it. It's an area where you can find jobs, company owners, and maybe founders and managers can look for people to employ. So this is a well known website to have high authority. And you can see the content is about Billy. So it's a yes. And as you can see, we have finished the training hits. So there are no hits available. And we're just going to click OK. And we're going to go back to qualifying stage. So when you've finished the training hits, now you will go to qualification hits. And this blue icon here will change to qualify. So you're going to proceed to qualify. So when you click on the qualify button, you're told that you're in the qualification phase for this heat up and you have three attempts remaining. For every attempt, there will be eight hits in the test. So go ahead and qualify. So for this one, this website is famous. It is not that, it's a website that, you know, prescribes you what to eat. So it's a well-known website. And whatever they have posted, 
is about vanilla ice creams and they are telling you which is the best one among the ones that is tested, the 10. So it has a high authority over the content and you can easily discover the content that's being posted. So that's it. For this one, this is Gmail. Gmail is owned by Google and you can see this is a Google Play Store. So the content is Gmail, you can easily see it. And uh, it's the best source for Gmail because where else will you get Gmail other than the Play Store? So for this one, you can see it's Amazon. This is a shopping site. So definitely when you see a shopping site, you will always categorize it on the high authority. So this is high authority. And as you can see, this guy was searching for hand. I don't know what kind of hand they were searching for, but the content is easily discoverable. This other one, as you can see, the topic is the depopulation agenda of Bill Gates plan to kill you. This the content quality is really, really poor because this is harmful content or maybe it's promoting terrorism or violence. So this is poor authority. And as you can see, we have already seen the content is about the depopulation agenda. So we can easily find the content. Triumph motorcycles. Okay, let's open the new tab. As you can see, they are posted about Tiger 800 XRX low in the price. And this Triumph motorcycles is a motorcycle selling website. So the, yeah, you can see the main content easily. For the authority, it's the best source because where else would you get, uh, you can get motorcycles somewhere else, but this website is posting about the motorcycles that they sell. So it's the best source. For this one, you can see the content is Cookies Soil World. It's a game, it's designed for iPad. So us seeing it on the Apple Store, my great guess is it's the best source. Yeah. Definitely. So for this one, one to three movies is a movie site where people can stream movies. Let's open it in a new tab. For example, if you wanted to stream this movie, you're just gonna click on it and then play. So you see it's prompting you to download a VPN and the playtime is three seconds already and it hasn't even started playing. So for this one, this is a pirated movie site. So the authority for the content is poor, really poor. But then even when you like open the page in a new tab, you can't really tell what kind of movie they were searching for because this is just a category for featured movies. So you can't really find the content that they were looking for. So that's gonna be a, a two or the main content is missing. Dr. Fauci admits COVID-19 vaccines are unsafe for people. This is not right. This is outrightly offensive and it has integrity problems. So this is going to be poor authority, definitely. If you're looking for the other's details, you can't really find any because if you click on by Anthony Carrillo, it's going to redirect you to some page that's in got enough content to judge. So for this one, you can really see the content. It's about Dr. Fauci, but then the authority is poor because of the other details cannot be seen and the integrity of the blog post is questionable. And as you can see, we have passed to the qualification test and now we're ready to earn that money. See you in the next video.